Hi, I'm Gerald Weber, co-founder of Viral Content Buzz. Uh, today, I want to go over some things with you about the user dashboard, some of the features, uh, some of the features which are relatively new features, and some of the features we'll be going over have actually been around for a while, but um, some users may have overlooked um, because they're they're not always uh, completely obvious to the eye. Uh, and hopefully this screencast will enable you to get the full benefit or get more out of Viral Content Buzz. Uh, now let's go ahead and dive right in here. Um, the first few things I want to show you are going to be on the main user dashboard area right here. Um, one of the first things uh, I wanted to go over with you is the layout styles. Um, there are actually two different layout styles and I know a lot of users actually overlook that. Uh, the first style this year is the original uh, layout that we had right when we launched and this is kind of a Pinterest style layout if you will and the other layout is more of a top to bottom uh, grid style layout. You'll notice the buttons are a little different. They're drop downs. Um, the main difference between these two is basically just aesthetics. The functionality is really exactly the same. Uh, you can do exactly the same things with both layout styles. So it's just really a matter of personal preference, which one you like better. Um, I have been using this one lately. Um, and again, that's just kind of personal preference. I kind of go from start at the top and scroll down. And that way I see every single submission. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over with you guys, um, as you, as most of you know, uh, Viral Content Buzz is a moderated community, um, and you know we we get people that are users that sometimes you know want to talk to us about quality. Uh, they don't like, uh, they might not like some of the submissions. The thing about that is, quality is a subjective thing. So you know what I might deem as quality, someone else you know might might think it, it you know it's not uh, so we've given you some tools to help you deal with that um, if there's uh, articles or submissions that you that you really just think is kind of crap or you know uh, you think it's low quality we really want you to speak up let us know about that and so we've added some uh, buttons here uh, you'll see this looks kind of like a face like a straight face or a serious face when you hover over that, it will give you a pop-up report is low quality. When you click on that, you can type in the reason why you didn't like the post. It's spammy or you know whatever the reason is. Just put that there. Um, and what will happen is if we get enough users reporting a piece of content as low quality, that will actually cue the moderators to take a second look at that content, and then uh, if we agree that there's that it that there's something about it that's low quality, then we'll go ahead and pull that from the public view in the dashboard, and that project will no longer be visible, uh, or no longer will be live in the dashboard. Uh, the next tool that we give you uh, that is uh, really useful, actually, um, <clears throat> is the ability to hide a project. Let's say it's it might not necessarily be low quality, but maybe it's just not relevant to uh, your what you're doing or your social media accounts um, or, or whatever. You just don't want to see the project. Uh, so what the next thing you can do is um, this eye looking icon right here. You'll notice when you hover over that, it says hide this project if you don't plan to share it. So I actually utilize this feature a lot. I pretty much hide every single project I'm not going to share. And that way I, I don't keep seeing the same stuff over and over and I can better get to the good stuff. So when you click on this, again, it will give you a pop up. Uh, are you sure you want to hide this? And then uh, just click hide project and you will never see that project again. It's like magic. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over with you guys is uh, we've added a new way to make it easier for you to share your projects with your friends. Um, under the My Projects tab, you will see a, a list of your projects basically in chronological order. And this little icon here looks like a chain link. If you click on that, it will give you a, a direct link basically 
to the article. And this is what it looks like. It's just basically a URL that goes directly to your project. And then you can take that link, you can email it to your friends, you can IM it to your friends, other friends that you have that are also using Viral Content Buzz. And that is a way that you can kind of manually get some additional action uh, on a project that you really want to promote. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I wanted to go over with you guys is something we, we just added recently, something we're really excited about uh, that's going to really help you take your social interaction to the next level. Um, you'll notice that in the dashboard, uh, you, you really, we don't show user information, who submitted, there's no uh, links to anyone's social accounts and, and and that is actually by design um, because we we want people to judge the content based on the merits of the content um, rather than the buddy system hey I'm gonna I'm gonna share Joe's article because he's my buddy or whatever uh, so that being said um, we have added this interactions tab that will allow you to see who has shared your content after the fact uh, so the content has already been shared, so you can go under interactions and you can sort it by uh, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, or stumble upon. So let's take this one as an example. I'm going to click on the interact tab, how to be your own ad agency, and I can see the user, that uh, the sh actual share on Twitter. I can reply, retweet, I can follow this guy, uh, now I'm following him on Twitter, I can say, hey, thanks a lot for the share, um, you know, in public on Twitter, I can retweet this guy, basically any way you want to, any way you choose to socially interact, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, Facebook, same thing, um, it will take, the interactions button will take you directly to the post on Facebook. You can like, comment, hey, thanks a lot for the share, uh, that sort of thing. So basically, however you choose to interact, um, we will allow you to do that. Uh, the next thing I want to go over with you guys is uh, a little bit about um, how you can share the project. We've added some new features regarding how you can share on Twitter and Facebook. Um, the main or most notable thing about Twitter is we've given you the ability to uh, add multiple Twitter accounts, up to five actually. You can see I have uh, three here. Um, and all you do is go under your settings. And you can see here at the bottom I have uh, two Twitter accounts left. Uh, then you can also add your Facebook pages here in addition to your personal page. And I'll go ahead and show you how this works when you're actually sharing. So uh, download your favorite YouTube videos. Okay, so I'm going to choose my Twitter account that is most relevant. In this case, that's Smartphone Jamie. And you can choose to either send now or buffer. And buffer just means that instead of tweeting or sharing immediately, you're going to space that out at a predetermined time interval. And you can see this here in the settings. You have 15, 30 minutes, an hour, uh, I just keep mine at 15 minutes. Uh, in this way, let's say you want to share 10 projects on Twitter rather than blasting out 10, 10 shares uh, back to back and annoying people. Uh, this will allow you to uh, go ahead and uh, set them all up to be shared. And the same thing with Facebook. You can buffer with Facebook. Uh, by default, this will share to your personal account or you can choose to share on one of the pages or you can share on a page only or on a page and on your personal account at the same time or on multiple pages. So this is very versatile in how you can actually uh, share on Facebook. Uh, the next thing I will go over, the couple things I wanted to show you about um, about uh, Pinterest. See this description right here? Uh, this pulls from the meta description uh, in the article. Uh, a lot of people I know some people use meta description, some people don't. Um, it's really cool to go ahead and add a meta description so that field will populate. Um, and one more thing, when we're on the subject, while we're on the subject of Pinterest, when you're submitting a project, <clears throat> most of this is covered in our original how-to uh, tutorial video, so I'm not going to go over every step of this. Um, most of you know 
enter the URL title, uh, group of interest, so on. Um, let's talk about the budget for a second. Uh, 10 shares or 10 uh, credits is generally going to give you a few shares, two or three shares, maybe maybe four, um, depending on the power of the social accounts. But um, it's not going to get you a whole lot of shares. That is just the default minimum. Uh, if you really want to get some action on your content, I would suggest starting this with 50 or maybe 100. Um, but you know, just taking the time to submit a project and then only getting two or three shares, it, it, it's really um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, I really probably wouldn't start a project with less than 50, but I usually start my minimum is 100 um, on the project. So uh, now back on the topic of Pinterest. Uh, what I wanted to point out here is a couple of things. Uh, one, um, you need to add the actual image URL, um, not the URL on Pinterest, but and we put a little note here, but some people still miss this. Um, you need to put the actual image URL, not the Pinterest URL. Uh, one more note is um, a lot of users just put kind of random images here, just kind of boring random images. Um, so on that note, also, when you add an image to Pinterest, you want to try to make it a good image, something that really stands out, something that has some sort of attraction. Um, so that's really all I had to say about uh, about Pinterest. Just try to, try to use good images there and um, also, remember what I said about the budget. Uh, try to try to bump that to like fifty or a hundred. Um, <clears throat> the last thing I read that almost covers everything that I wanted to go over today. Um, uh, there is one other thing, a couple other things, and then I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Under my projects, uh, we have added the ability to add folders or put your projects in folders. Um, now this is really useful if you just have one website you probably won't need this as much but if you're managing multiple websites or multiple uh, multiple projects let's say you're doing outreach for multiple different clients or websites or something of that nature this will allow you to organize each article or project in a particular folder so that way when you start getting you know 50 100 start getting a lot of projects you can really keep them uh, well organized so see I have these projects in this general folder here um, <clears throat> and so um, I'll just show you how this is done uh, real quick let's say how to be your own ad agency so I want to move it to a folder I can either create a new folder or I can add it to a different one so I'll add it to this general folder let's say it's part of that project and bam so now if I want to see everything that is in the general folder there they are uh, so that's a really cool feature that will help you keep your projects organized and um, easy to find uh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the um, we've recently launched uh, pro accounts um, basically pro accounts just give you some added benefits um, the free accounts they still work the same way they always have and they always will and they all you'll always be able to use viral content buzz for free but if you want to if you want some bonuses um, you can go pro um, I'll just highlight basically uh, the honeybee content marketer gives you 200 credits that automatically renew at the beginning of each month uh, you get priority in the review queue. So what that means is uh, your projects will be reviewed first ahead of free users. Uh, better analytics in the My Projects area. And you'll get access to our private pro forums. Um, <clears throat> the Busy Bee Content Marketer is basically very similar, uh, only you get uh, 500 uh, credits that automatically renew instead of 200 and you also get a Google uh, Google Plus button on your projects other than that they're pretty much uh, pretty much the same uh, and the lastly uh, you know the the pro uh, feature or pro account is also really a great way to to support the viral content buzz community um, I, I won't lie to you that uh, this project has been uh, extremely 
expensive from a monetary standpoint. Um, so yeah, just remember when you go pro, you're also uh, supporting uh, me and Anne and uh, Viral Content Buzz and helping us to make Viral Content Buzz a better place uh, and you know just more effective. Uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, anything that wasn't clear, or just uh, you know something that's a lingering question, a question about some of the things we went over today, just let us know in the comments. And have a great day.